So we've had this uh, kink in the track today caused by uh, the weather being very hot and making the track expand. I thought that only happened on full-size railways, so it's the first time it's ever happened here. I think what's caused it is the curve here between the brick bridge and the straight behind me. The curve here always used to blow out when it got hot and you could see it moved across, but it didn't move as a nice curve. It always blow a bit of a, 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 a bulge in it. Uh, once it starts to go, it tends to go in one place. So last summer, uh, I put these pegs in to keep this curve where, where, where it's meant to be. And of course that now means when the straights at either end expand, the track has buckled. Luckily I wasn't hurtling past in Bongo when it happened, because it probably happened quite quickly, I would think. And looking at it, um, this is the bit I hadn't constrained, this is the straight part. So I need to do several things. One is, uh, I think I need to uh, re-ballast this bit and put some more ballast either side of the sleeper, so I think it's a bit, bit shallow here. I think that sleeper being missing there hasn't helped. That's the place it's actually really blown outwards. And um, so a little bit of track work coming up. You can see how much it's moved it if you look at how far it's pushed those sleepers across. So I've repaired the track now. Um, essentially, part of the problem was that the sleeper was a bit rotten and the screws that hold the track down to the sleeper, they had uh, really rusted away. And there may be not quite enough ballast along here. Anyway, this is where the track had pushed over. So I've replaced this sleeper and a couple of others. And now there's some old uh, water pipe has been hammered down to the ground. So that will keep that in place. And just behind me, um, I've slightly realigned the track here to give a little bit more of a curve, so maybe that can, can take a bit of expansion, but again, I've pegged it down so it doesn't do a big bubble there. My next trick is to, to sort out a bit more of this so again, it can't, it can't uh, expand and go into a kink. So, uh, back to high-speed running now without the risk of the track going wrong. <laughs> 